Hi, so today I am chatting about why I insist on filtering my water, my home water, my drinking water, and so should you. Hey, Sophie here. Welcome to my kitchen again. For those of you who are new to my channel, Gorgeously Green, you are very welcome. You join me in my kitchen or my living room or my bedroom or on location every week, almost every week, and I give you all sorts of healthy lifestyle, healthy living tips. So today I want to talk about the one thing that we cannot live without, which is water. Now, where do I even begin? I want to keep this relatively simple for you. Um, so I'm going to tell you why I think it's really important to drink filtered water and to bathe in filtered water all the time. Then I'm going to review essentially a whole home water system, which is for so many reasons, the one that I really like and recommend. It's called Life Source. And then I'm going to show you a couple of products. So do stick along to the end that if you can't do a whole home water system, it's just not in your budget or you live in an apartment and it's going to, not going to work for you, stick along to the end because I want to show you ways that you can filter your water that will be really helpful with some very, very important information in there that you cannot miss. Okay, so let's jump right in. Why do we need to filter our water? Why do we need to filter our home water? Why do we need to filter our... Uh, tap water uh, that comes out of our faucet, that comes out of our fridge, that comes out of our shower taps. Well, there are many contaminants and the main contaminant is actually chlorine. And there is a problem with chlorine. Obviously, chlorine is fantastic because it disinfects our water and we don't get waterborne illnesses anymore. So there is a very important place for chlorine in our water systems. And I am not saying that there isn't because there absolutely is. And thank God we have these sanitation and these uh, disinfection um, uh, uh, you know, practices now on, on a, on a, on a uh, national scale, at least um, in this country. But here's the thing. Chlorine, A, is problematic because of the taste. So let's just go with taste first. Now, I don't know about you, but I've traveled uh, to states all over the country and even in England. And the amount of chlorine and disinfectant that they put in, in the water and chemicals really differs from, um, from state to state and from region to region, completely differs. I am very, very sensitive to the taste of chlorine. So I can tell just from taking two or three sips of water how much chlorine there is in water. Sometimes it's insane, like I can barely drink it and sometimes it's not too bad. Also, you may have noticed is that sometimes you drink uh, water, you know, in a restaurant, the water that they put on the table, and it sort of tastes a little funky, a little stale. So probably you are very aware that water from water fountains in restaurants, unfiltered water, it doesn't taste very good. Either it just tastes a bit funky or stale, or you really taste those chemicals. Now, I want to say that that taste also affects the taste of your food. So just think about it. We cook our food in water and I can completely tell the difference between food, gently, lightly steamed vegetables or boi boiled vegetables. There's a lot of chlorine in that water. I can taste it. The, the place where I really taste it more than anything is with tea because I'm a huge tea drinker and I drink, I invest in really good quality tea, loose leaf teas, white teas, green teas, oolong teas. Oh my gosh, I would no sooner brew my tea in unfiltered water. It just would completely ruin the taste. So that's taste. Now let's talk about health. So there have been some concerning scientific studies on um, the relationship, the correlation between chlorine in our water uh, oh, consumed over a very long period of time and bladder cancer. So this is a very real issue. Now, I'm not, don't want to scaremonger you and say, well, just drinking a little bit of filter, uh, unfiltered water, excuse me, from your tap or a water fountain is going to give you bladder cancer. This, these studies have been done following people over 40 to 60 years of drinking unfiltered tap chlorinated water. So that is, that is something to, to take into account. But listen, the, the sum total of all this for health and for taste is 
filter your water. That's why I insist on having filtered water. In fact, I'm going to take a slug of my beautiful filtered water right now. And as a nutritionist, by the way, you want to try to drink about six to eight glasses of beautiful filtered water daily. Now, yes, you can get your filtered water from, you can buy it in plastic bottles, but I'm also an environmentalist, so please don't do that. Don't use single-use plastic water bottles. They are so unnecessary, and, um, and it's just one thing that you can very easily cut from your life. So having filtered water in your home and filling a reusable bottle is absolutely, there's kind of really no excuse. We can all do that now, and it's just preparation. Make sure you always have it with you at the gym, in your car, wherever you're going, you know, an event work so that you don't have to pick up one of those plastic bottles. Really make a stand for that. Also, don't forget that chemicals in the plastic can leach into your water. So that's another very good reason for not using plastic water bottles. So that's one way that you can get your water. Now, interestingly, uh, many of the brands, I think it was 50 different brands of bottled water were tested to see, you know, what, what contaminants were still in there, which had been taken out, which minerals were still left in there. And the really disturbing thing that I, was that I think it was well over three quarters of all brands tested were no better than regular tap water. So hashtag waste of money as well. So the key is that you want to filter your water in a way that takes out the bad stuff, the contaminants, the chlorine, but keeps the good minerals in there. So this is something I really uh, feel so strongly about because there are many filtration systems that will take, remove everything, all the good minerals as well. So you want to look for a system where, and if you're shopping for a system, a whole home system, that's a question I want you to ask. Say, okay, I understand that you say that you take all the contaminants out, but what about the minerals, the calcium and the magnesium, the minerals that we actually need to have in our water. Okay, so now I'm going to get on to my kind of review, if you like, but this is the truth of my experience of something that I've used for many years. So many years ago, it was 12 years ago, my first book, Gorgeously Green, uh, debuted on Oprah, and that was fantastic and, and a lot of excitement around that. But it really shone the spotlight on me having to really change absolutely everything in my home and my environment uh, to be the best and cleanest that it could be. So the spotlight was shone on water. I didn't have a whole home uh, water system at that point 12 years ago. So I would use the jugs, you know, the water filtration jugs. I'm going to show you, talk to you about that in a minute, but that's what I would use. So having, you know, done that, written the book and everything, I thought, you know what, it really is time now to invest in a really good home uh, system. So I did my research, as you do, and I really dug deep. And one of the things that I was very concerned about was that I wanted a water system that was eco-friendly. So literally every single thing I looked for was eco-friendly would, would come before my Google search, eco-friendly water system. And one of the things I found out, which was shocking to me, was that reverse osmosis, which at the time was kind of like the gold standard. It was like, oh, I've got a water softener or, or, a, or a reverse osmosis system, is not good for the environment. It wastes a lot of water. The wastewater isn't good for the environment. It really truly isn't eco-friendly. And that on my Google search, you know, when you get on that rabbit hole of eco-friendly uh, water filtration system led me to life source water. So I had the system, that big old tank, put in 11 and a half years ago on the side of my house. Now, here's what's really cool about it. They use, uh, it's, it's a granulated carbon, it's actually with coconut um, um, heart, uh, shells uh, to take all of the chlorine, all of the contaminants out, but it leaves the good stuff in. So I still, I have filtered mineral water in my own home. So that is quite genius. Now, the other thing that really attracted me, two other things about life source, one, 
it is outside of my home. Right. So I actually don't have to have a great big kind of system, either in my laundry room or under my sink. I don't have very much space underneath my sink. So I was like, oh, this is amazing. What you you put it on the side of my house. They were like, yeah, we just plumb it in there to the side of your house. I'm like, fantastic. Now, the other thing and hand on my heart, this is the truth. Eleven and a half years ago, I have not touched that system. I have not had maintenance on it. They haven't come to change a filter. I haven't come to change a filter. Nada. Nothing. That's it. It's literally a one and done. So much so that I literally called them like a couple of years ago. I said, are you sure? And they said, yeah, absolutely sure. And the, the lifetime is about 10 years for this system. So it's 10 years. And the truth is that today I'm having it replaced. 11 and a half years later, I'm having a new system put in because it's time. But the truth is that the water, this is actually from the old system because they're literally replacing it right now as I'm making this video. This, I still don't taste chlorine in this water at all. And that shows that the old system actually is still still pretty much working. So anyway, that is life source water. Um, and I really, really recommend that you check it out. I'm going to put a link, obviously, for, for it underneath the, win the uh, window, the video. And uh, do check them out because, honestly, I know it's something like, you know, when you think about having things like a, a water system, it is an investment and a whole home water system. And for me, with anything like, oh, I'm going to do solar panels or a water system or whatever it is, for me and you might be the same, you start to do the research and you get, it does your head in. You're like, you go down every Google rabbit hole there is. You also ask your friends. And for me, by the end of it, I'm almost like, I started doing that with solar panels and I still don't have solar panels on my home because it just got so confusing. And um, if it hadn't have been for LifeSource, where I Googled them, found out they were eco-friendly, reached out to them, found out that they're a family-run company in Pasadena, which is really close to me, met the owners, knew I love a family-run company, that it's not some giant conglomeration. And so, you know, if it wasn't for that, and really, because I have to be so sure before I invest in something, have something put on my home for 10 years. So if it wasn't for all that, I would have been in the dark as well. So that's what, how um, sort of... Um, sure I was that that was the, it was the right thing for me and hopefully if you're in the market for a whole home water filtration system you'll allow me to have done that research for you. So now finally if you cannot do a whole home water system if you might live in an apartment you might be renting you might it just might not be within your budget it's it's not it is an investment obviously um, then you can very easily get a water jug and a shower head. Now, I highly recommend you do. In fact, please do. And if you don't, literally order them after this video. Because not only is the chlorine, uh, we've talked about the drinking water, but chlorine on your body is extremely drying. You know, if like me, shocker, you dye your hair, but if you do have color or dye in your hair, that chlorine will strip that color out so quickly. It's also, I think chlorine is extremely aging on your skin because it's so drying. If you have contact dermatitis, if you have eczema, if you have psoriasis, if you have any itchy um, or, or, you know, um, debilitating skin condition like that, you have to get the chlorine out of your shower and your bathing water. Please do it. So I have two products that I'm going to recommend to you. I'm putting the links underneath the video. One is the um, Naki or the Nakai um, jug filter. There are many different ones. I just picked this one because it's BPA free and because it has it's small enough. I like that it sits very easily in the refrigerator door. It just has a good ergonomic design. And then um, the shower head is one by Aqua Bliss. Really easy, pop it in, both are super duper affordable. Now, the piece of important information that I wanted to let you know 
That sound, by the way, is they're literally banging the water system into the side of my uh, house right now. If you can hear banging and drilling, it's because it's going in now. But one thing I did want to say, yep, there we go, bit of banging, um, is that your water filter jug. Pay attention to when they say the time that that filter has to be changed, if it has to be changed in 60 days, or sometimes they have the little gauge on it, the little light or a little thing that changes color, or they give you the actual time, like 90 days or whatever it is, pay attention to that. They are not just saying that to try and sell you more filters, because a lot of re I've done a lot of research on this. And in order that you are getting properly filtered water, where the chlorine and the contaminants has been taken out, you have to follow the directions from the manufacturer, regardless of which water filtration jug you choose. So that was the very important piece. Because I used to think, before I did all that research, I thought, oh, they're just trying to sell me. I'll keep it for, it's good for six months. My mum has got one she's had for two years. No wonder when I go back to England and I taste that water, I'm like, mum, this really doesn't taste right. She's like, oh no, it's good. You know, we, it, it's totally fine. My mum's so frugal. She's like thinking that whatever it is, the Brita filter is going to last her for like 10 years. I'm like, no mum, we're going to go out and buy your new filter now. So anyway, hopefully you find this helpful. You know, upshot is you got to filter your water, honestly, for health and for really good taste. Uh, please do it whole home water system, first choice, if you can do it, if you can find the budget for that, or if you live in a home that you can do that, do it. Life source, great, great choice. It would be my absolute top choice, gold standard as far as I'm concerned. And finally, if you can't, please start filtering your shower water, your drinking water, and never buy one of those single use plastic bottles again, as long as you live. Pledge? pledge. Okay, that's it from me. Um, I'll see you next week uh, or next time. And if you enjoyed this video, which touches on nutrition and health and whatnot, check out some of my other ones. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. See you next time.